Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. Uh, we are looking at a um, rigid transformation. So being able to talk about what the moves are given um, two figures that have been transformed from one part of the grid to the next. So this is coming from CPM's course three, uh, section 6.1.1, number 6-2. So I'll read it and we'll go from there. Describe what moves you could use to create the transformation of the original image shown at the right. So here's our original image and we see it's now here, right? So that's the original and how did I get it there? So let's talk through this. So remember we have with, with rigid transformations, There's, there's three rigid transformations, right? You have uh, three that we're, we're, we're dealing with right now. We've got the, um, the translate. And translate is the same thing as slide. We have uh, turn or um, rotate. Oops, that's an E. Rotate, which is really a turn. And then we have reflect which is a flip. So those are the three that we are going to be dealing with here. And so uh, those are my rigid transformations. So I want to specifically describe this situation. So if I look at it, I'm going to, I'm going to just pick a point and I like to pick that 90 degree angle. I got to somehow get that point to go to there. Right. And if I do the rest of it all will fall into place. So what let's count over. I can see what's going to happen is I could take this and, sh and slide it over. Right translate it over and then if i can somehow reflect it it would flip onto the other side right so how far will this go over it'll go over one two three four five six seven so if i'm able to get this point there to move that direction seven then it would where would it be it would look if i moved it it then would look like this Right to there and there. So if I if I just slid that over, every point is going to slide over plus seven, right? I'm going to go seven over. So we would slide. So what we're going to call this then is what's the two moves? The first move is going to be a uh, translate or slide. Uh, horizontal. That's the direction. Going that way, horizontal plus seven units, right? Plus seven units. In other words, that's X plus seven. It's taking your X value and adding seven. Then, okay, so now I'm here. Do you see how if I can look at this, the axes? If I can look at this X axis as my mirror and I would reflect it, reflect it really almost in a sense it flips it over it's a reflection of it and that's over this line that's the x-axis and the x-axis the equation of the x-axis is y is equal to zero where y equals zero it reflects so if i did that move then everything would flip over so that would be my next move so second move would be a ref reflection reflect across y equals zero or you can say x axes reflect across the x axes and that's how we would get to be there all right there we go